Welcome. Here it is. Whip it. Uh, whip it. Tank part three. Uh, I'm very pleased to present this uh, this third and final part of my whip it tank tutorial because it's finally coming together and it's complete and uh, people get to see the finished product, which I'm very proud of. Um, and it, it looks good. The pieces look really strange kind of going together and how sort of the chunks fit together. But I'm very pleased for people to see the end result and see that it was uh, not weird for no reason. Um, as a side note, I reached 100 subscribers on my channel. Um, this is not something I'll dwell on because I don't want to sound cliche. Um, but I think that it's cool that 100 people were interested in seeing what I have to make and how I like to build. So if you're a subscriber, that's cool. I appreciate you. I'm glad that people want to come along and check out the things that I make. But even if you're just a viewer and you have an interest in watching what I make, I appreciate you too, you know, just as much. So thank you to my subscribers. Thank you to my viewers. Thanks for uh, coming along and checking out the things that I've uh, I've made. It's very, very humbling in my opinion. So I think that that's cool. And I won't dwell on that. I don't think I'll do like a special video or anything, but uh, I didn't want to mention it because I do, I'm aware that, you know, any degree of success that comes from my channel comes actually from the people who watch my stuff and not necessarily the stuff that I make. So um, I'm glad about that. I'm appreciative. And I just wanted to take a moment to mention that. Um, but here I'm finishing up uh, the Whippet, naturally. I'm building the roof, um, which has a very strange shape, but comes together very nicely and fits with a lot of the other angles that I have on the actual shape, which is beautiful. It, it connected fairly cleanly. I was worried that it wasn't be able to to fit in the right order um, and the right connections, but it uh, it comes together pretty nicely. Uh, I left some extra studs on those flat parts for the supplies, um, naturally, which I like to put on uh, armored vehicles and vehicles of, of that kind. So yeah, it's pretty cool. The um, the actual Whippet had multiple hatches on the top that opened up, and for anyone who's seen my French saint Chamon tank video, I did actually do all of the opening and functioning doors on the saint Chamon, the French saint Chamon tank. And I was very proud of that, but for the whip it there, it was a feature I was not able to um, to work out because the angles are so tight. Um, but I think I did okay. Um, I kind of omitted that because the shapes fit together in a different way, and I'm glad that it worked out the way that it did, and it wasn't um, too complicated or too weak because it actually was fairly strong in the end, which is cool. I try to make strength and things that are worth playing and not too um, too delicate or anything. But there's like, like I mentioned, though, there's no hatches on top, which is kind of disappointing, but it's still... Uh, it's okay. I think it looks good. Um, because I managed to get some other features in there that I did want. Um, I usually start with a large list of things. That's like, oh, I want all these guns to be movable, and I want all these hatches to open. I want all of these different eye ports and all these things. Um, and then I have to trim those down to what's reasonable. So I did manage to get some more of the functions on there that I was was happy about, but it wasn't all of them too. So I do have an eye port. I do have guns. I don't have any hatches, but the the roof is removable, which I'll mention later. Um, but it's cool because it um it does what it needs to do, and it's really um it's really good in my opinion. I like it. I'm really proud of it. Um, this is the uh, the beginning of the the wheel covers, which I'm not gonna lie, were tremendous to make. They were so so difficult to make something that covered and wrapped around the wheels, but didn't inter didn't interrupt the gears or the tracks or anything. I mean, the tracks were already hard to measure out, but to measure out something um, to cover them was even harder, in my opinion. They were kind of the last thing that I built, so because I could have built them earlier, but I put them put them here, so. The, I will mention, though, that the track covers that I did end up building with those little slant pieces right there, in my opinion, don't look much like the actual Whippet um, like track covers. They had like this these big um, sort of hollowed out areas that were like mud catchers to catch mud that was from the rotating tracks and then throw it back out so that it wouldn't get caught in the treads. Um, and I did look, and naturally, I looked at lots of Whippets while I was building this, but... I did, in my opinion, did kind of a crummy job replicating that, but I really just did the best that I could with the shapes that I could use and the space that I had in between the tracks that doesn't interrupt the track. So the I think it looks okay. I probably could have done better, but I, I don't know. I did the best that I could with the circumstance, and it looks good um, because the whip it had a couple different variations, but those um, those slants, you know, those little pieces, those little cutouts that are in the inside of the wheel well. Um, they're supposed to be a lot bigger. So that's just for some context. And people who know this tank would know that anyway. Um, but I think it was good. It was a couple of, of sort of smart put-togethers that came together in a, a result that looks somewhat like what it needs to, but isn't too, um, isn't too all over the place or, or weak. Because again, like I mentioned, strength is really important for me. I don't want things that just fall apart because I do ultimately like to use and play with my Legos and not just... Um, not just have them as models, but you know, there's kind of a different section of, of model building, but I try to make mine that are um, worth having around, you know, in my opinion. 
Um, but yeah, it was some tricky things, sort of like what I'll do here, where I make this piece and then I have to connect it on sort of an angle, or the thing that I did with the circle, that circle piece, circle um, two by two, just back there where I rotated it. Um, and it just makes a shape that fits a little better um, on the general like shape of the tracks, because the tracks are kind of a weird shape to begin with. They're sort of like a banana shape that's sloped in the back. Um, and I had to, I had to work really, really hard to make a, a shape that was good for that, but it's, it's okay. I'm, I'm happy with it. It looks, uh, it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, it's a, it's definitely a tricky thing to capture. I try to start with pieces that look a lot like what I'm trying to make and then go from there and make them look even more, you know, l like I'm, what I'm trying to replicate anyway. So, um, it's a very, um, a very complicated process. I've considered doing maybe like a free build video or whatever I'd want to call it, um, on my channel where I just show my sort of my process for building. I don't know if that'd be boring for people. I've had that idea as well. Um, but these are ultimately things I have already made and designed that I'm just showing how they, how they were assembled after they're like the finished product. So after they're done, um, but yeah, I might still do a free build video. I don't know if that would be boring or if people wouldn't want to see that because my process is kind of weird, but, uh, it's good. These these are well designed, I think, in my opinion, and they do what they need to do. So they're gonna get uh, attached on here, and then uh, it'll be it'll be ready to go. I'm uh, very pleased to present this and to to show it off, and for it to be completed and to be on my channel. So yeah, it looks looks really good. It's getting there for sure. As uh, one extra side note, though, I. I'm kind of short for treads now that I've made this thing, and I'll think I'll swap them out for other builds in the future. But if people have recommendations for where to get extra Lego parts, leave them in the comments. I'm open to suggestions. And now it's time for the finishing touches. So the actual vehicle is finished here. This is the, the finished Whippet. Um, naturally, it still needs tracks, which I'm about to do here. Um, and I won't show a video of me putting them on because it's kind of uh, kind of messy and annoying. Um, I have two of these treads that are incredibly, incredibly long. I had to take um, some extra treads off of my Sanchamon tank in order to make this thing um, for this video. Um, and I'm hoping to get some more of these. But these are each um, 57. I counted them twice, so maybe that's not accurate, but I'm fairly certain. But it's a very long distance it has to go. Um, so I'm going to put those on here in just a minute. And then I also have some supply pieces that I like to do to add some stuff. So it's not part of the actual, actual thing, but I love to use it in a way to sort of improve the build. So, and I also have a shell case here too, and a gas can. And these were all things that were featured in my, um, my supply build video, on uh, my World War One mini builds. Um, so there are already little tutorials and things to, to build these, but they're pretty self-explanatory. They're not that hard to put together. So I'm going to put all these details on and we can see what the, the finished product looks like. All right, time for the big reveal. I won't leave anyone in suspense because it's pretty cool, but here we are. This is the finished British um, medium A Whippet tank. Um, my original design, naturally. And I try not to say this too often, but I know that I do. I think it looks fantastic. So I have very high standards for the things that I build. I've mentioned that before, um, but I'm so pleasantly surprised with uh, how, how this all came out and how what it looks like, how it acts, and the playability. Um, I didn't didn't end up changing the guns. Uh, these guns right here, are, they're okay. I may change them later, but for right now, they're, they're fine. Um, the tra tracks roll naturally. Um, be silly if they didn't, but it was really tricky to get the tracks all lined up and working like that. And the angles are just, um, in my opinion, they're just a work of art. It looks a lot like the Whippet from the front, front the back, and the sides. Um, and the supplies add so much to be able to make it look more interactive and more interesting. Um, I try to do different accents like this brown uh, exhaust pipe here to sort of make it have a little bit of a break in the monotonous gray. Um, and I think it does a decent job. So I also have some white paint accents. Um, I left some space here in case I wanted to do the more iconic um, white, red, white on here. And I could maybe do it on this. I just didn't have any, um, any of these pieces right here that were red, essentially. I would have done it like that if I could. Um, but I'm pretty happy with uh, this result uh, based off of what I had. Um, it's it's really, really cool. I think the, tr the tracks were really hard to, to get the right shape, but I think it looks really close to what it's supposed to, and it kind of moves and sits and looks a lot like the, uh, the whip it actually does. Um, the roof is removable, which is cool. I bothered to do that because I'm into um, into play features and trying to making things interesting and stuff too. Um, I have a guy here um, to test it out and I'm gonna look real stupid if I can't get this guy in here, but there is, he does actually sit in there and he can actually sit in front of the steering wheel, even with a helmet on too. So I, I tested it for a helmet as well as a hat and like a, a bare head, but um, I kind of carved out a spot in the top here so it looks like it, uh, 
it fits. But you can fit a single guy in there. Like I mentioned before, there's supposed to be a crew of three. I cannot fit three in here naturally. Um, all four machine guns are all in the right places and they all move and stuff too. Um, it's tricky to do unless the this is open because this piece is a little loose, but you can ultimately open the door. Oops, I just popped the machine gun off there. You can open the door, which is just, it's really cool. So and then you can put the roof back on so it looks like how the, the pictures of the tank actually do with the door open. Um, but yeah, it's cool. The um, All the features I try to make fairly accurate and fairly um, fairly real um, and then keep it fresh and interesting to try to, you know, take my own spin on it um, for Lego. So these uh, service hatches open as well for um, the engine um, on both sides. They're a little stiff though and they're smooth so it's really tricky to open them. I don't know if I can do it on camera, but I will attempt to because they're just so smooth. Oh yeah, see, so here I got one. Um, but it's cool because it reveals a little engine spot that makes it a little... Um, interactive and interesting to kind of uh, tell a different story with that as well instead of just doing all through smooth sides because I totally could have done that more of these um, but it was more cool to be able to have kind of a feature and make it interesting and all these little pieces too are interchangeable and move around I have little studs and stuff that I can move around and uh, put them in different places so this is this is the whip it um, the treads actually roll really well and it pushes nicely from the back however they don't um, they're a little stiff and it doesn't catch on the, the paper on my desk here so I'm gonna attempt to get a, a shot of it rolling um, probably on my carpet to see if I can show off the actual feature of the rolling track part but it's pretty obvious about how it works so um, yeah this is the whip it it looks pretty cool pretty clean came together very nicely and looks a lot like the tank I attempted to build. So um, hopefully this is an inspiration for people who want to build this vehicle or anything of the like. Here's the, the Whippet in action rolling across a fake battlefield that I made. Um, and my carpet is kind of a mess. I should have vacuumed it a little better before I before I shot this. But yeah, this is it. I, I don't think there's anything more that needs to be said. I think it's self-explanatory. Um, it's a cool build and I'm glad to be able to feature it. Um, I appreciate anyone who came along and, and checked it out and has any interest in looking at my things and because uh, it's a cool thing for me to be able to share the, the stuff that I make. So this is my Whippet Medium A and it is it's done.